it's that time of the month again. I do this video pretty much every single month when there's a new unlimited award. And this time it's probably the best player since. Because as it's probably the final player of the month, you would expect so because 2K21 comes out next month. If you're able to go 12 and 0 in my team unlimited, you're able to get a Galaxy Opal GOAT Oscar Robertson. And now this card actually looks really good because obviously GOAT cards have pretty much 99 everything. And I remember going against a lot of people that ran just this normal Galaxy Opal Big O. And he was actually really good because he is six foot five, which is a great height for a point guard. So I'm really hoping that we can get this dub to end up getting it. Also, if we're able to get, let's go 4,000 likes on this video, I'd appreciate it a lot. I know you guys can do that easy, but let's see how we go. And looking at the team, to be honest, my team is a little bit weird. Like I could create a much better squad kind of ratings wise. But for me personally right now, this is the team that's been playing really well for me. I love Kawhi at the two because he has a seven foot two wingspan, I think. Ben Simmons is probably my favorite card in the game. And then we've just got length and height off the bench. But my team has been better in the past because obviously I did have this goat LeBron, also goat Shaq and goat Giannis, but I ended up selling them all. Because if you guys don't know, there's goat packs coming out soon. And that's why my team isn't looking too great. But speaking of those goat packs, I'm gonna need money when they come out. So that's why this is a good segue. You guys like segways? I went on a segue ride about a year ago, fun fact. Just around the lake, it was pretty nice. But anyway, we do have a sponsor for this video. So let's get to it. Now this video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. It's light, sleek and industrial. It also doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket. And I've been using this for a while and it seriously changed my whole wallet experience and pocket situation because most people are still using wallets that are designed in the 90s, for example, my old one. And it just turns out to be a whole unorganized mess. But that's where if we bring in the Ridge wallet, it can hold up to 12 cards plus room for cash. The cards are super accessible to get out. This design here is the carbon fiber, but there's 30 more colors and styles to choose from. And because they're so durable, each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty, meaning this could be the last wallet you ever buy. And I got you guys too, because if you click the link in the description or go to ridge.com slash killsamoy, you'll get 10% off with free shipping and returns just by using code killsamoy at checkout. It also supports your boy and thank you to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. And yeah, now that that's done, here's the team once again, 11 and 0. We've got a big game ahead of us and hopefully we can get this dub. Without further ado, let's get to it. It took forever to find a game. So hopefully, okay, his team is good but it's not like crazy, crazy good. You guys may have noticed that I trimmed my beard, kind of looking a bit more fresh. And we are on our home court, so it always feels a little bit better. But as I said, my opponent's team, definitely not bad. You kind of expect them to have a lot more NBA's back players, but he doesn't have any in his starters. So let's see if Larry can get off to a good start with the three. I do this all the time, but it is gonna miss and we don't get the rebound. Okay. And it looks like he is on mic, but unfortunately I can't really speak and what a block by Yao Ming there. And let's try to see if we can still continue to play good defense. James Wiseman, two blocks to Yao already. This is why I love this card. And this is why I love Ben Simmons from three, bang. Yeah, I literally just came off the most intense game I think I've ever played this whole year because it was a, an overtime game. And I came back by being down by like 14 points against a guy that already had Opal, Goat, um, Oscar Robertson. That's not bad defense, except he is going to make the three with Thaddeus Young because that man has base 98. But it's okay because we've got Ben Simmons. Just rim run, hold square, get the dunk. Okay, here we go. Back down to Larry for the dunk. But I feel like one card a lot of you guys will be surprised that I'm running with is actually Bol Bol because I have Vince Carter and everything. Like I've got a very good team and I have very good players in like the reserves. But I love this Bol Bol as we play terrible and now we need to get Yao Ming up and uh, hopefully we get the stop or else this is a big score by to my opponent. But that's great defense by Yao Ming and we're not gonna get the rebound. This is tough and that should have been a steal, but James Wiseman doing a little snatch back on me, getting inside, great defense by Bol Bol. Don't know how he made that pass out. I'm playing such good defense right now in the man and that just continues that way. We're not getting, wow, we actually did get that rebound. Okay, this is a dime. <sighs> No, no, it isn't. It's still our ball though. I thought when I saw my opponent's team, it wasn't going to be too tough, but he's definitely a good player. So let's get Ben Simmons to go inside this time. We're lucky. Yep, that's a steal. Let's go, Ben Simmons. And let's kick it to Kawhi. Kawhi doesn't miss open threes, but we'll give it to Yao for the jam. And also, I should put this as a little disclaimer. No matter what, I'm posting this video. So even if I lose, it's still going to get posted. We haven't done one yet where I have lost, but that's because I never lose. And now that I say that, I'm going to lose this game. And I was joking about that too. Don't worry. Yao Ming, this man uh, uh, does miss. Okay, that's not good. We're down by three right now, but I kind of feel like we've missed some shots we should have made. And now that I'm in my hybrid defense, I feel a lot better about things. So let's see how we're able to go this time. That's good defense. That's great defense. Let's get out to this. Good. Let's get out to this spam square. And then there we go. We're going to get the steal with Kawhi Leonard, taking it all the way and throwing it down. 
deep breaths. It wasn't the greatest start, but at least my opponent's bench definitely isn't as good as these starters as he does have pink diamond lamello balls. So we need to just play good defense this time. What is... What is that? Like, bro, with my defense, that should be defended 100% of the time. Kevin Durant going down here. I love this Brandon Ingram card because I always grant his shot. And I feel like in these types of the videos, these are the ones where you guys cannot blame me if I'm cheesing super hard because I got to get this win. That should be a steal. Yes, Ingram gets it for us. He's been popping off recently and he's got seven. Sweet. Sweet. Jonathan Isaac, need this block. We are going to get it too. All right, let's go. Maybe we get eight points with Ingram. Let's pull it. Brandon. Ingram. Okay, maybe I maybe I should take my words back. Dude, Brandon Ingram, I said I liked you, and now you just play like trash and almost get a turnover straight after. We need to kick this one out, and you can see he's got shooting guard Chris Stapps, which is just tough because the man is so tall. Ingram, there we go. It actually is kind of crazy, but I much prefer my bench. I don't know what it is, but let's go down here with Kevin Durant and then back out to Kareem. I'm not too sure what I'm doing here. I might have had an open shot there that I just didn't see, but Siakam on us. Ingram all the way, dunking at home. That's a bad shot, bad shot. And we pull down the rebound with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Let's give it to Ingram once again. Snatch back, pull the three, big shot. And he's going to... Dude, Ingram, you usually make all these for me. I don't know what it is. I know I rock meter, but usually I make every single one of these shots I'm taking right now. That's such a good pass out of shot. And we make it. Ingram gets the rebound. He's definitely been the one to absolutely excel off the bench. And I had Anthony Davis there. Just didn't see him in time. But we do have him underneath this time. Kicking it to him for the jam and one. Yeah, I might do way too many hop steps. I'm sorry. <laughs> but would you look at that? My boy now has takeover. And with takeover, you really don't miss any threes. But also, you can get better dunks. As we go to the free throw line. But I tell you what, he doesn't miss these. We just need one steal. If we can get a steal in this possession, it's pretty much a GG. And that's good defense. We got across to that. That sh probably should have been one, actually. And we're trying to get out to this. Eddie Curry gets a good animation. But we get the block straight away with Kareem. Back to Brandon. Brandon Ingram. Let's go to the left. Let's take it around. Let's go to the little drill move. Stop. Pop. Get the green. Yeah, do you guys see why I like this card? I know he missed a couple of shots early, but after that, he's been perfect and he gets us another steal. Taking it all the way. Brandon Ingram's on fire. He scored 20. 20 points in this quarter. Can we get even more? I don't know. I just feel like putting the ball in his hands for how yeah. well the man is... Okay, every time I talk him up way too highly, give him so much praise, he misses the next shot. So maybe we just don't talk about him at all. Please miss that, which he will. And now we still have a chance to get a score with Brandon Ingram with his takeover. Snatch back, pull it. There's the green. My bench has played so well. I'm actually so happy with him. And it's just been this man right here. Look at the defense by Brandon Ingram. He's got a 7-2 wingspan and it's showing off right there. Snatch. No, not going to pull that, but it's fine because we can kick it back into his hands. Taking it on Thaddeus. Back down to Anthony Davis for another jam. Let's go. The bench squad is playing so much better than the starters. It's actually kind of crazy. And one to Kareem. I usually don't even like this Kareem, but he's playing so well. So many people are going to be mad at what I just said that I don't really like Kareem, but I don't know what it is. I think it's just because I've used so many other cards that he kind of throws me off in the positions that he stands in everything and we need to get out to this Giannis here I don't know why he hasn't made that pass yet he finally decided to and he takes a pretty bad shot in the end of it we're gonna get the rebound with Bol Bol which is one other reason I really like this card but watch him running up the floor kicking out to Kawhi this man greens every shot remember when we were down at quarter time well now I'm up by 15 points and we just got a steal to make it 18 with Ben Simmons that man greens it how many times have I said that man this man I don't know again my starters are on and now we're starting to lose the lead which is just so weird because my starters look very good on paper, but something's just wrong with them. There must be some chemistry issue or something like that. Or maybe it's just the shots I'm taking. I don't know how that went in. Only up by 11. Only up by 11. Let's make it... Oh, let's not take that. Okay, that's the thing that I like about this team is the fact that pretty much everyone has Hall of Fame bailout. So you can make those types of plays. Bol Bol for the two. I love his release too. Defense. I can see you want to give it to Zion. We're going to stick tight. We're going to get the steal. We're going to go out to Zion. Get that steal. Bruh. Bruh, that should have been a steal too. Because Kawhi reached it at the perfect time. We've got Bol Bol who should be able to contest this. Yep, perfect. You ain't making that show with... Really? Bol Bol has like an eight foot wingspan. And you're telling me that we didn't even get a great contest on that? Okay. 
I see how it is, 2K. And then we missed that shot. But luckily, we're on the boards. Larry Bird this time. I don't really know what's happening with my bench. I'm not super happy. But I, I know it's going to work. It's going to work out because things do. Things do work out in this video game, especially with Yao Ming for three. What am I talking about? This is the worst commentary ever. Maybe I should bring like Lamelo back into the team. I don't know. I really do miss running that card just because I loved his release so much. But here we go. The last quarter. We have a hefty lead at 12 points, but we need to just keep it up and continue to do what we've been doing. Back out to Kawhi for a great start. And we are going to miss that. We don't even get the rebound either. So not too great. Trying to get the steal because that's the only real way. I end up getting points, but he wants to give it to the corner here. Spamming square, and we do end up getting the steal. That's what we're talking about. Snatch back. Ben Simmons, he don't miss. I like it. Check it, check it. You got nothing on me. You ain't got nothing on me. You know that song by Pop Smoke? Anyway, it's kind of by a 50 cent. Hey, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Wow, we almost had that too. That would have been a crazy steal if we were able to get it. Bobo, get across. That's 35% covered. That's the reason right there I love Bobo is because he's just so big and he's able to contest pretty much everything. So it's kind of like an out of position card, except it doesn't even say it on his card, but that's the reason I love him. Back out to Kawhi this time, back to Benjamin. Benjamin Greening. It's still only 12 points. I don't know how I feel about that. It's just not a big enough lead for me to be happy with the way we're playing. There we go. Let's make it 15. But at least now I did just call my bench on and they've been playing a lot better than my starters. So I'm feeling pretty confident. And my bench is now on the floor and I'm happy that my bench is here because you can see straight away getting the steal with Jonathan Isaac and also getting the finish. Yes, Ingram gets out of the stat steal and I'm about to sneeze, but it's okay because Brandon Ingram is going to hit the dagger of the moving shot. Yes, he does. Wow. Yo, I'm so happy right now. We're actually going to do this. I didn't really expect it. Like, I, I kind of thought we would win, but I'm not sure by how much. And I was pretty scared for the video purposes that, you know, you guys were going to see terrible gameplay and were going to watch me lose. But luckily, that isn't what's going to happen. It's got Thaddeus Young. That was such a weird release. And that's what Base 98 sometimes does if it's from a standing shot. But it's okay because we've got Anthony Davis underneath. Another block dunk from him. And then we foul. Cool. But yeah, this is for sure one of the cheesiest gameplays I've posted just because... You guys know I had to get that win. I had to get that win. I had to do whatever I could to try and get it. And I can't icon switch. So you guys already know it. it's pretty much an instant bucket. Although he does miss and we don't get the rebound either, which is kind of awkward. Trying to get the block. Nope. But um, let's just see if Ingram can get us another score with five seconds to go. Brandon. No. Brandon. Yes. Take it. Shoot it. 88%. It's fine. We ended up winning by 11 points. And check it. Brandon Ingram for sure led the way in 10 minutes with 30 points, two rebounds, two assists, four steals. You can see why I like this card. Ben Simmons as well with 21. Like these are my two favorite new cards that came out and you can see why. Yao Ming played really well. So did Kawhi. Pretty much everyone turned up. I was happy. Even like KD, we didn't shoot with him, but he had three rebounds, two assists, one steal. I'm happy with that performance because in the end, we did end up getting that win by 11 points. Shot 60%, 57% from three. I'm pretty happy. Now let's just hope everything went right. And yes, baby. Series complete. We've done it and gone 12 and 0 for this month already in August, the final month of NBA 2K20, 8,000 MT. We're going to take our 20 tokens as well. We're also going to get a duplicate Michael Beasley, who was the card from last week, last month, I mean. I guess we can just quick sell him for 5,000 MT. But then, once we've done that, we will see the new Galaxy Opal that we're going to get is GOAT, Oscar Robertson, for getting that dub. Man, I'm happy to see this card. So now if I go over into my collection, go to rewards and go to GOAT cards, we've got one more added being Oscar Robertson. But yeah, speaking of GOAT cards, I'm definitely going to pick up a lot more when those GOAT packs drop because we've got 4.6 million MT. The one card I couldn't sell was this Yao Ming because I love him. But yeah, we're obviously going to get a lot of VC thanks to our sponsor as well. But yeah, I'm happy because that means we ticked it off for August. We've gone 12-0 and 0, and that's it for 2K20 for player of the month wise. Don't worry, I'm still going to post and play the game. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button. As I said, let's see if we can get 4,000 likes on this video. I know you guys can easily do that and these videos always somewhat do well. So hopefully this one does as well with your support. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Smash that like button, subscribe for new, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.